go. The Jack and Max Show! Ah, uh, how does this thing work again? Yeah! <laughs> ah! Jack and Matt explain Bible doctrine concepts. For kids. Actually, for children. Hi, boys and girls. Hi, boys and girls. How are you guys doing this week? I'm doing good. How well, about you? I'm doing pretty well. Oh, good. Yes. So, this week we're actually going to look at Christology and how Jesus is completely God and completely man. Both at the same time. Alright, so since Jesus was completely human, he had a human body, like you and me. He had hands. Mm, yeah. Hands, yes. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five and five, ten. Fingers. He also had other body parts, like a nose. He was human. Mm -hmm. Nose. How about ears? Yeah. He had, ears, yeah. He had, he yeah. had ears too. How oh, about feet? Yeah. He, he had, had feet. He had feet. As a, as a human, he had everything that you and me have. Skin, blood, teeth. He had those. And being fully human, he had to learn things through example. Like, he had to learn how to walk. Mm, and how to talk. Yeah. Sometimes I need to learn how to not talk. Oh, yeah. A, mm. That's true. Now, Jesus learned these traits, but he also always did it obediently. Mm, yeah. He always did the right thing. Mm -hmm. Like, for instance, you know, uh, your parents tell you to do something. You don't just talk back at them or say, I'll get to it later. No, Jesus would have done it immediately because he was obedient and honoring to his parents. So, what are some experiences that you would have to go through when you're growing up? to learn how to do. Well, let's take a look. Yes, let's, let's take investigate. a look. <laughs> now we're going to teach Jack how to organize his desk. Wait, wait a minute. That's not how you organize, is it, children? We need to teach them the right way. Yeah, our books are precious things. We want to definitely take care of those. And how are you going to find all those pens if you just throw them in there? Let's make sure we put them in the pen holder. But let's first put the big items in first. Oh, okay. So keep them nice and stacked up. Uh-oh, it's too much, isn't it? Yeah, so it's we not need even a, fit. Let's put, let's put the big books on one side of our desk. Oh. And our small books on the other side. Ah, that makes sense. Definitely. And then let's go ahead and put our pens, right boys and girls, in the little uh, pocket that's in the front. Okay. We can also put our eraser and our glue right there as well. And we definitely don't want to leave pens and pencils on the ground or oh. any of our items, do we boys and girls? Let's make sure we have it all in there. Now, double check. Does it look good? I think it looks great. Great job, Jack. What do you think, boys and girls? Did he do a good job for a first time? So Jesus might not have had a desk to clean, but he certainly had to learn how to put things away. Yes, right. He had traits, just like you have traits to do. Um, he had to experience how to do them. And so he understands uh, when we're frustrated or um, when we go through something that we can't really do well, he understands that because he was human, or he is human. Um, but when he did those things, he always did it right, and he never sinned. So how about we go outside and look at how Jesus is also completely God? Let's go. All right. All right, so Jesus is also the Son of God. And that means his, his nature is divine. Now, I'm not talking nature as in like 
nature that's around us. Like creation. Yeah, that's... <laughs> the nature of something just means it's the characteristics. Like, a characteristic of a rock. Ooh, that's a nice rock. How do you explain a rock? A rock Where'd is... Where did that come from? Oh, I, I don't know. Oh, okay. Anyways, but the rock, the rock, A characteristic of a rock is it's hard. Oh, yeah. It's hard. It doesn't... Nice, it's hard. Mm hmm. And it's heavy. Heavy. Yeah. And you just heavy. don't. Those are characteristics of rocks. Okay. That's how you can tell what a rock is. A characteristic of, say, a tree. Sure. It has leaves, it has bark. And you it, can know what kind of tree it is by the bark or the leaves or what grows on the tree. Exactly. Those are characteristics. So that, All right. So, a characteristic of Jesus being the Son of God. In Hebrews chapter 1, it actually talks about how Jesus created everything. Right, just like the trees and the grass and the birds, the air we breathe, He created it all. The, the next characteristic is He knows what you're thinking. He knows everything. He's omniscient. That's right. I talk about different times in the Bible where Jesus knew people's thoughts. He knew what they were thinking and... They didn't even tell him. He knew it before. Another characteristic of Jesus being the Son of God was he did miracles. He was able, he has the unlimited power of God. It reminds me of when Jesus calmed the sea, mm. uh, when Jesus healed the sick, when Jesus um, raised from the dead even. Oh yeah, that's a big one. And it's unlimited power he has. So, he's a creator. Created everything. He's got the creator. He knows everything. Mm -hmm. And he has God's unlimited power. For sure. So those are the characteristics that you can focus on with Jesus being the son of God. All right. Have a good week, boys and girls. Right. See you guys next See week. See you next week. Didn't I take off my coat? Where is it? <laughs>